So a lot of people out there get into speed keeping and think it's this walk in the park, shaving down their time from two minutes to two seconds. But one key component into getting to that speed is indeed learning algorithms. And let's be honest, learning algorithms is not very fun. <laughs> but what if I told you it can be? And it's by connecting something you don't like doing to something you do like doing. What if you started thinking of learning an algorithm as leveling up, like you would in a video game? Or if you're an instrument player, what if learning an algorithm was like learning a chord to a song? Well, these things actually have a lot in common. On the music side, you learn when to play that chord based on what part of the song you're at, so you use your ears to listen. In cubing, instead of using your ears, you use your eyes to recognize the color pattern to know which algorithm to use. On the video game side, you acquire more knowledge about the puzzle, and you gain efficiency, which is like leveling up. Now these comparisons may sound a little silly, but it is a more fun and enjoyable way to learn algorithms, and a way to stay committed. Now another thing that beginners and even intermediate speed keepers don't realize is that when you learn algorithms, you don't only gain the knowledge of those algorithms to the various cases on the puzzle, but you also unconsciously improve your understanding of the puzzle. Something you should be implementing is looking at what the algorithm is doing to permute your puzzle. How does the algorithm break apart pairs and solve them in a different way? And the part that happens along the way learning an alg set is that your perspective of the puzzle changes. It's almost like learning how to solve the cube for the very first time. Most people are taught that the cube shouldn't be solved by sides, but rather by layers. And in practicing this by learning to solve the cross, pairing up corners and edge pieces, and last layer, you gradually see the cube as a step-by-step -step puzzle. You soon realize that you can't just complete the white side. You have to make sure that the cross and the corner pieces are in the correct spot based on their shared colors. So this entire shift in your perspective and understanding of the cube is exactly what happens when you learn algorithms. And I think the more advanced the alg set is, the greater you level up in a sense of your expertise of the puzzle. I think what made me fully realize this and actually prove it to myself is I had a random thought about this, but didn't have anyone explicitly explain why I felt like I improved mentally about the cube after learning a bunch of algorithms. So one of the things I kept in mind before I started learning the gigantic PLO set of Megaminx I just took a mental note of how I see the Megaminx when I solve. How my color piece deduction is, which is knowing the color of the other side of a piece without checking it. And just trying to remember like where I came from. And at about halfway through the PLL alg set, I already noticed a difference in my understanding of this puzzle. But it's weird because it's not just the last layer itself. It was the entire puzzle. So let this be a motivator for you. Let this remind you that learning algs is not boring because you're not just memorizing cases and solutions for those cases. You are rather leveling up your understanding of the entire puzzle. So I hope this helps you tackle those alg sets you've been dreading or just want something to help keep pushing you forward when your speed plateaus. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.